You want to clap? We'll clap together. One, two, three. Ow! No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rick Sorry. Maniacs, welcome back to another Designer's Desk video. My name is Andreas. I'm here with... I'm Slam. I'm Slam. Yeah. Yes. Today we're going to talk about the Opal Blitz Bus. Yeah. Uh, which was a super fun kit. Of course, we've done a ton of Opal Blitzes before, the truck variant. But then I was doing some Googling and I saw no one has built an Opal Blitz bus before. It's so ugly and I really want to make it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's beautiful and it's, yeah, in its complete busness. Yeah, I mean, oh. trucks are great for transportation, mm -hmm. but this is a way more elegant and effective way to travel with a bunch of troops. I mean, imagine sitting for hours in the back of a truck, just shaking and rattling around tied up, squeezed, compared to like driving with this. If only there's a vehicle made purpose-built to transport people from point A to point B. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. buses were around in the 30s and the 40s as well, so mm -hmm. of course. Before that even. Yeah. Yep. So. So this is a great form of desert transportation. Yeah, so this is a North Africa configuration. Mm -hmm. uh, it was started production around 1939 when Germany was building their army. They knew that they wanted to. Uh, get into war very soon. So they were mm -hmm. building up their army and they started making uh, trucks, Opel Blitz trucks, and also different configurations, which also led to the bus being built on the same chassis. So you kind of recognize the front here from our previous uh, Opel Blitz styles, uh, but now as a bus configuration. So a lot of fun stuff. What kind vehicle. of features can you talk, talk about on this guy? Yeah, let's talk about the features. Yeah. I'm gonna stop this spinning. Everything on this vehicle is playable. That is, this is like the modern brick mania dollhouse, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, opening door on the front here. So this is like your main door where all of the guys running in. This one too? Uh, no, that's not a door. What? Uh, opening door <laughs> in the back. Of course, so you guys can run out in the back, opening door on the side, you know, Ooh. no restroom there, just a door. So all the guys can run out, of course. If that wasn't enough opening, we also have opening, woof, very easily removed, super flush. And of course, <laughs> if that wasn't enough opening, we have another opening, which is not in the real one, this one. Oh the side door slides out just for you to have some more dollhouse play features. Accessibility to the inside, <laughs> nice. Definitely, so you can fill this up like with guys. You can have a driver in here uh, sitting on the on this driver's seat. I really appreciate this particular waterline model that we have right here <laughs> because it's not an amphibious vehicle. Oh my gosh. Oh, funny. Oh okay. yeah. Okay, let's see, I can get this driver in there. You can do it. Oh yeah, there you He's go. He's in. There you go. That's a driver yeah. in the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. And you have bench seats for, I don't know how many, but I've seen people, photos of people sending me that they've filled this one up totally mm -hmm. with North Africa guys that we do sell separately. So get those if you want. This shuts, shuts back up. Everything closes. Everything's nice closing. Tight. Very yeah, it's nice. In convertible or just drove under a low bridge yeah. mode. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. And this is just some really nice shaping on the on the yeah. interior there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a weird shape to it. It's all curved and, you know, this angling out. It's seven wide here and eight wide here. So that was uh, very fun to make, of course. Um, let's talk a bit about the printing. There's a lot of printing going on for this. Oh, there's not that much. Uh, <laughs> there's the Opal Blitz grill that I had done before, but this time in desert tan. Yeah. Comes with a license plate. Those headlight covers as well. Oh, of course, yeah. Typical, typical low low vis headlights. Yeah. Another license plate in the back. Sweet looking. And my favorite print on the outside of this thing is this extra wheel here. I mean, here. look at that. That's amazing. It's just, it's it's a fake wheel. It looks like a Lego wheel. Yeah. It's just. Yep. Some of these vehicles have jerry cans on this door, mm -hmm. and then I saw a lot of them had a had a spare tire. Uh, spare tire. So mm -hmm. I was like, I really want to try to build that spare tire in there. Could not find a good technique to get it in there and also make it work. 
so we came up with this great idea of using that uh, three by three, I think, round tile, mm -hmm. which is a pretty new piece. Um, and putting a fake tire in a mount. Yeah, I mean, and then we've got beautiful. all the stowage. We've got crates. We've got oh, this is one of my favorites actually. Jerry cans. Got another gray crate with carrying handles. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna flip it over. Um, let's see. We've got. Just a tarp roll. We've got a first aid kit. We've got uh, a grenades box. The Germans had the most beautiful pressed aluminum or yeah. pressed steel yeah. grenade box back in World Can War II. Can you see II. that camera guy? So my, my finger's probably in the way. But. And then we have one little detail. <laughs> this is a historically accurate German foot powder tin. And this kit is the only way to get that particular oh, extra. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, if you're out riding around in a hot desert in combat boots, you probably are going to require some foot doctor powder. Yeah. Right. Uh, combat. So, I'm very pleased with that little Easter egg. Let's get this, get this back on. on. Oh, Touching. We forgot all the stuff. Yeah. And also, fuel can. Did you mention there's a barrel? Oh, I forgot here. about the fuel can. Fuel yeah. or barrel, I mean. Fuel barrel. Uh, what did I do in the front of that again? Oh, it's, it's got some writing on it. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. Okay. So MG34, that's a field modification. They didn't come with uh, MG34s mounted to the roof, but that's for anti-aircraft defense. Um, you also have a lantern here for going in nighttime. That was a fun, cutesy little detail. Mm -hmm. uh, very beautiful Lego piece that I have been wanting to put in a kit for a long time. Now finally a good opportunity. Uh, on the top there, you get a shovel and you get a hatchet. Um, just a bunch of details on this one. This racks as well. Just looks very flush, very nicely mm -hmm. detailed. And yeah, there's there's probably room for more stowage up there if you just want to just <laughs> heap it on. I yeah. would recommend doing that. Yeah, I left some space there for you to put your own sticker packs on there. We do sell sticker packs separately with and ladder in the back too. Crates. Yeah, ladder if you want to get on top here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, very nice little kit. It was a limited edition, so it's not coming back. Uh, would have loved to make a different version some time later, maybe mm -hmm. a gray or maybe even a snow camouflage. It was used on the uh, Eastern Front as well. Hmm. Um, all sorts of diff different configurations. There were command vehicles, there were radio vehicles, they even had like uh, one with food where they would serve oh. this as a kitchen. So it was like coming here as a tiny restaurant, I guess. Um, That's really cool. Medic versions, mm -hmm. Red Cross. I mean, yeah, very fun. But now we did it as a troop transport. So get those Africa Corps guys in there. There we go. Transportation. It's a really nice kit. Really good job on this. Very happy with it. It was, it was a fun build, really fun build actually. Oh, where have the guys gone? Oh, I think oh, they're inside. They're just oh, we've inside. sealed it oh. up. Freaking roof. Nice. All right, let's talk about the guys. Okay. Looks like we have ourselves a commander of some sort here. Yeah. Africa he's a general. Corps, Africa Corps sure. general. Yeah. I don't know why he's riding on a bus, but getting from one place to another. Yeah. Transportation. And Africa Corps driver. Yeah. So these are both made by Drew. Mm -hmm. um, beautifully made figures. This guy got some Africa Corps insignia on his helmet. Um, he's got some shorts and he's wearing a sweater with a nicely, uh, I think that's, is that red? Yeah, I remember it correctly. A red sweater. Looks beautiful. It's it's a really good look, like when you have to wear shorts plus the warm <laughs> thing. But the I mean, desert. the desert is weird. It's super hot during the day and it's so cold during the night. Mm -hmm. so, so you have to be prepared for both seasons yeah. all the time. Yeah, and uh, the general there, he's got a fold, one of those folded uh, hats. Um, and yeah, just the, the desert uh, jacket and pants. Yeah. And he's looking very good. Yeah. Okay. That's oh, yeah, we've got the Africa, Africa Corps symbol on the side here as well. Oh yeah, totally. And sweet. I just learned the other day that the reason it's always pictured with this gray behind it is because they didn't print it or paint it out in the field. It was painted originally, and then they painted the whole thing tan yeah. around the symbol. Yeah. 
Same with the on the stall helm there. They came in gray and then they painted tanner over it. <laughs> and just leaving a little patch for your symbols. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. So this is a really mm -hmm. fun vehicle. Sold out. You might be able to pick some up in the stores. Mm -hmm. uh, hope we can do more variants, but that's it for the Africa Core one. Really paving the way for us to do more Africa Core strange vehicles, like we just dropped the Mammoth as the time we were filming this. Uh, so if you have, you know, multiple North Af Africa kits, they all go together. Build yourself a convoy. Yeah, totally. All right. And if you'd like us to build more buses, leave a comment down <laughs> below. And, or if you have other strange vehicles you'd like us to build. Yeah, um, I mean, I'll, I'll build any strange vehicle, really. Mm -hmm. I just, everything it's, not done before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And there's some weird ones out there. There's a whole range of Canadian vehicles that are very strange looking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Australian, too. Yeah. OK. Sweet. Well, thanks for tuning in to another designer studio. Until next time, I'm Slam. I'm Andreas. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to the Science Test channel. There's more coming. Yep. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. And if you stuck around to the end, you're really cool. All right. Thanks. Cut that off. That was terrible. No, that was great.